Hello, in this video we'll talk about Annexin 5 PI assay and this is a fan requested video. Annexin 5 PI assay is a common method to detect apoptotic cells. The Annexin 5 protein can bind to phosphatidyl serine residues on the membrane with high affinity. In normal cells, phosphatidyl serine is generally not found on the outer leaflet. It is generally distributed in the inner leaflet. So that is why in the normal cell, phosphatidyl serine would never come in contact with annexin 5, which is on the outer side. Now, annexin 5 can interact with phosphatidyl serine in an apoptotic cell only. This principle is based on the heterogeneity in membrane lipid distribution. Several membrane lipids like sphingomyelin, phosphatidyl choline are generally distributed in the outer leaflet, whereas phosphatidyl serine is generally distributed in the inner side of the leaflet and in healthy cells it remains in the inner side and never goes in the outer side. So in this assay we need annexin 5 which is actually a anticoagulant protein. Annexin 5 has a very high binding affinity with phosphatidyl serine. In order to detect this binding process we can conjugate annexin 5 with a dye let's say FITSI and later on detect it with flow cytometry. In this assay, the PI or propidium iodide is actually a dye that can penetrate the membrane, that can pass through the membrane if the membrane integrity is bad. So propidium iodide is found inside the cell if there is a membrane damage. Now with the help of flow cytometry, these cells can be sorted and we can understand and interpret the data. In order to start the assay, you need annexin 5, which is commercially available, propidium iodide, which is also commercially available, and we need a particular binding buffer, which has calcium chloride in it, because annexin 5 requires calcium in terms of binding. First of all, we need to remove the cell culture media from our cells that need to be tested. Then we have to wash it with 1x PBS, and then we have to add the annexin 5 and PI working mixture. We have to incubate this solution in 15 minutes in a dark situation such that binding can possibly happen. Then it's time to analyze the samples using flow cytometry. And the flow cytometry data would give us the overall readout of how many cells are apoptotic versus non apoptotic. Let us try to understand this with a very simple example. In viable cell, we know the phosphatidyl serine would be inside, so there would be no binding with uh, the annexin 5. In case of early apoptotic cell, annexin 5 would be bound to these phosphatidyl serine which are exposed to the outer side, but the propidium iodide cannot get inside because still the membrane integrity is not so bad such that propidium iodide can get into the cells. Now in late stage apoptotic cells, first of all annexin 5 would be binding to the phosphatidyl serine as well as the propidium iodide would move inside of the cell because the membrane integrity is totally messed up right now. There could be another situation where the propidium iodide has permeated through the membrane but annexin 5 does not bind. And this is a situation which doesn't involve apoptosis. This is kind of a necrotic situation, which doesn't involve the movement of phosphatidyl serine into the outer leaflet. So this is a signature of necrotic cell. And now let's look at the flow cytometry plot to understand. This is how the flow cytometry plot look like. So the way you read this plot is looking at the cell numbers, which are in these axis. So in the y-axis, you see these cell numbers tell us that how many cells are positive for PI, whereas in uh, the, the particular uh, x-axis tells us how many cells are positive in the uh, annexin 5 positive cells. So obviously, we can see in the um, lower quadrant, there are viable cells, which has low level of PI, very low level of annexin 5. The early apoptotic cells would be in the lower down uh, right side quadrant because they would have high level of 
annexin-5 but low level of propidium iodide. Now necrotic cells would be in the upper left quadrant because in the ne necrotic cells PI level would be high but annexin level would be low and the late stage apoptotic cells would be in the upper right quadrant because they are both annexin and PI both of them would be high and this is how we can interpret the flow cytometry data. Now we have a control cell and then uh, some kind of drug treated cell we can kind of understand how much apopto uh, apoptosis has taken place and also we can understand how many cells are at early stage of apoptosis versus late stage of apoptosis this can kind of give us a sense about the efficacy of the drug as well if it is meant to kill the cells so that is how annexin pi assay work i hope this was useful this is a quick summary for that if you like this video support my channel on my patreon page you, if you are an Indian viewer, support my channel using Bhim UPI. This is my QR code. Your small contribution means a lot for me. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. My, ch my courses are also present in Unacademy. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. See you in the next video.